Hello and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting Super Mushroom from Super Mario Brothers. These are the colors that you'll be needing. White, blue, yellow, brown, black, red, some paper, and your fingers! Don't forget to share your paintings with me using the hashtags in the bio to be featured as the artist of the week. Now, let's begin. First, we're actually going to work on the face of our super mushroom. It's easiest sometimes to work from dark or the back forward. So the face is actually covered by the hat of the mushroom. So we're gonna go in with some brown and a clean finger, some yellow, and we're gonna mix those up. Create kind of a yellowish brown color, similar to a yellow ochre. And then we're gonna go in with some white on another clean finger. And we're gonna mix all those colors up. And that is going to be the base color of our mushroom. So, the mushroom toadstool has kind of a round, almost boxy shape. It's kind of like a box, kind of like a square, but it's a bit round. So we're just going to kind of make a square, but round it a bit round it a bit, both sides. Make sure that we give it enough room. Gonna make it a little bit bigger so we have enough room for his face and his eyes. Very important. Oh, I'm running out of color, so I'm gonna mix it again. Yellow, brown, I'll put you some more yellow, and white. Those are the colors that you will be needing to make our mushroom. And if it's a little bit darker, that's okay. I'm actually going to use that darker color on the bottom, because this is going to create a shadow, and work it up into the top. I can always add a little bit more white. Mix that up, like so, and just fill it in real fast. It's just some quick, quick finger movements right there, and there you have, that is going to be the bottom of our mushroom. I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit there. Okay, he was looking a little bit off. If your mushroom is not perfect, that is all right. I'm just the teacher, so I wanna have mine be just a little bit more precise. Okay, so it's looking very round, kind of painterly, and now we're going to do the eyes. The eyes of Toad are very straightforward. They're black. We're gonna go into the black and we're gonna make two lines down the center using maybe like a thumb width apart in between. So we're gonna do one line, boop, like so. Make sure that it's even at the top and bottom. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna think ah, about a thumb and then I'm gonna do another line straight up and down straight up and down. Make sure that they're, they're even, and those are gonna be Toad's eyes. See, you don't wanna keep going back over top of your paint because you may end up actually taking some of the paint off. We're gonna go in with our white, and using these little peaks, you see we've got these little peaks, I'm gonna kind of try to do a little dot, just like so. Wipe my finger off and get another one, a little peek. We're gonna do the same thing right here. All right, and that is going to be Toad's eyes. Now we gotta do Toad's cap, his little mushroom cap at the top. Now, if you look at Toad, he actually has some darker shadows down here and it works towards the top. It's a little bit brighter because that's where the light is coming in. So I'm gonna take, I have a little bit of red here apart from this red. This is going to be our main red, but I'm gonna take this red here and I'm gonna mix a little bit of our brown in with that red. And you know what, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the blue in too. So I have red, brown, and blue. I'm gonna mix those together. What color is it going to be? It's going to be a very dark, kind of maroon, red, a purpley, deep dark purpley red because red and blue make a very purple-ish color. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of 
go right along the top of the mushroom. Give him a little hat. Just go straight across with a little bit of a curve. And fill him in like so. We're gonna actually go a little bit over and I'm gonna go down just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna do one finger down on either side. One finger down like so. And then I'm just going to take that and go out. And now I'm going to fill in my mushroom. So the top of my mushroom, I'm gonna figure out where the, where mushroom is going to be. It's gonna be right about there. That's gonna be my mushroom cap. See, it gives me kind of an idea of where I'm going, but it's better to do this with our shadow color than our bright red color, because we can always paint over it. And this will just make it stand out, look like it's popping three-dimensionally off the pane. The page, the painting, the page. Okay, so I mixed a little bit up because we wanna show that the shadow is not just here. It's not as just a solid line, but it actually fades up a little bit. I'm gonna to touch in a little bit of blue right here, cause we're gonna have, this is going to be when where one of our circles are. I'm gonna figure out where our circles are. There's gonna be one here, and we're gonna have one here, because if you remember the power mushroom has big white circles on its mushroom top. So, like so. I'm gonna actually show, this is where the top is going to be. The top of the circle, it's gonna be a big white circle. And you, it's actually easier to paint with the blue than it is to do red, because blue is a cooler color, and when we think of white, a lot of times, especially if we're going opposite a red, it's good to use the colors that are opposite, the complementary colors on the color wheel. So if you think about a color wheel, red and blue are opposite. So because I'm doing the blue there, it's going to really make that white circle pop. So I'm going in now with our bright red, and I'm just gonna kind of fill in in between the lines. You color in between the lines with your fingers, kind of like you would in a coloring book or a coloring page. Those are a lot of fun to do. I really enjoy coloring. I used to love coloring all the time when I was a kid, but I also love finger painting. Look how bright that red looks. You see how that shadow really makes that red just pop? Oh. Toad, you're looking all fancy today. You got some, some sass and some attitude. That's gonna be a lot of power. My Mario would want to eat that mushroom. Turn big. I love Mario, it's so much fun to play. There's so many different versions, but it's a lot of fun to play on my Nintendo Switch. I like to play it. And then my nieces and nephews like to come over and play Mario 2. I think it's one of those games that just unites the entire family. Okay, so we've colored in our mushroom, like so. And now I'm gonna clean off my finger really good, as best as I can. And then I'm gonna go in with the white. And so because we have this blue barrier, we're not going to get so much red into our white circles. So there's one. You see how that makes it look like it doesn't just blend in with the page too? Let's do one over here. We gotta be careful because I don't wanna put my hand into the paint that I've already made already put on the page. See, it's okay if it's a little bit blue. That's fine. We want to avoid getting too much red into that red circle. That white circle. Oh goodness. Okay, let's go in with this 
We're doing the last circle. Last circle, big white circle. Just make sure that it has, it's nice and round. You get a little bit of red in, a little bit of blue, that's okay. Again, this is a painting. It's not supposed to look extremely precise. In fact, that, the fact that it's not perfect gives it more character. And there you have it, ta-da! There is our toad, our super mushroom from Super Mario Brothers. What do you guys think? I really hope that you enjoyed this finger painting. I love hanging out with you guys and finger painting. Until next time. Lots of love. Bye!